Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> so huge 198.55, I believe tied for the second highest score in the country this season. Tie. <laughs> With <a> Cal. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Overall thoughts on the meet to kick it off? I mean, it's exactly what we worked for this week. Like, we wanted to be united and just celebrate the seniors and have fun. I think we do our best gymnastics when we're loose and not, like, super, you know, stressed out. So I think that is exactly what we were training for all week. And then Selena, 39.9 all-around score, which I believe is tied for the second in UCLA history. Yeah, wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> what was kind of coming into this performance, especially after resting last week? Um, the biggest thing I wanted to work on this week was to be present in all my routines that I do. So I think I did a really good job of doing that today, <laughs> obviously, because that was our goal to be connected and to talk to ourselves in our gymnastics. So I'm very proud. And then could see Jordan Child speaking to you after mm. the 10s, reminiscent of last year. Yeah. What was having her presence today? I loved it. I miss Jordan. She helps keep my energy light and fun. So I enjoyed having her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it was so nice to see Joe cheering us on. And yeah, we're excited to have her next year. Yeah. And then Shay closing out the season with a 10 on floor. <laughs> How does it feel to come back and put in that? Oh, it's been so hard to not be doing floor. Um, <laughs> obviously, you guys know I love I love doing floor. So to for that to be my first routine back meant the world, and for it to be um, in this moment and you know my senior year, it's just it's so special because I love this place so much, and there's nothing better than getting a ten in Bali. And then Mars, <laughs> huge floor score for you as well in your first lineup of the year. Kind of what has been the process coming in and you know, you really seem to show off during the routine. How is your mentality going into it? Yes, it's been a long time coming, uh, this floor routine. Um, I didn't expect to start off the season with a major injury um, and it was pretty discouraging because I love floor and I, my ankles have never felt so strong until I did get injured. And it was just, you know, I had to dig really deep and I had to remind myself that it's my reason for coming back wasn't all about gymnastics. It was about being connected to the team. And so they, the reason why I could do that floor team today was because of the girls. They were behind my back. They, they had my back and they were behind me every step of the way. And whether they were telling me to go sit down and stop they would, they would really tell me to go sit down and go rest my ankles because they know how bad I wanted it. And so um, this, this was all just a long time coming, a lot of patience and uh, letting my body be completely ready before I stepped out on that floor. And so my teammates really trusted me to go hit my floor routine today and BJ and Janelle. And so um, I'm really thankful for that. It was definitely a group effort and um, I couldn't have done it without all the help that I had along the way. Thanks, guys. Uh, this is for uh, Mars and Che. I mean, both, after both of your routines, long time coming for you guys to get back in the floor lot for, for lineups for you. It's been a, you know, a, a few meets for Mars all season long. You know, big reaction from your teammates kind of hoarding you right after the you know, final pass. What, what, is, what, what do those moments feel like for you guys when you see your teammates running after you and, and cheering you on in those moments? I mean, they, they see all the struggle. Um, they see everything that happens when we're in the gym and no one else is watching. So it's cool that they can see like we're in your lowest of lows and your highest of highs. And that's what makes being on a team just so special just because, you know, we're all in this together. And it, it just means the world because, you know, especially this meet being senior meet, like, it just, you truly do feel the love from your team. And there's nothing like it. Yeah, I mean, everything, after that routine, everything's in slow motion because you're just trying to get yourself together and then just be, I feel like I'm in a mosh pit being pushed around. <laughs> and it's the best feeling. That means you did something right. Um, before the score even comes on the board, like when the girls run to you like that, that means you really um, performed your best and that they really enjoyed the performance. And I would rather have that reaction than any any score. Like, I, as long as the girls are are proud of how we did that's all that matters and um, they're definitely the harshest critics but 
they'll they'll congratulate you the hardest too. It feels really good. And then for all three of you, um, you know, each event today had a higher event score than the one before it. So, um, and then um, three season highs on events as well. You know, what was it like to see kind of that momentum kind of spiral and, you know, keep on hitting in those moments? Did you, were you guys feeling the energy in Poly today? We were, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you sure did. <laughs> we were feeling it, but we also like went in there like this, this momentum is not stopping. It's mm -hmm. not gonna stop. Like that was our goal before we even stepped into the arena, so. I think we did a great job of keeping the ball rolling. So, yeah. yeah. I think we were like it also helps. We were a little angry after last week, to be <laughs> honest. So, so we came in like really determined to to kill it this week. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you guys have have more season left this year, but the, you the seniors, you guys have given so much to this program. You're leaving it with uh, some pretty talented young gymnasts. Where do you think this, play, this, this program goes from here? It only goes up from here. And um, this, this program is so special and it's legendary. Um, down to Carrie Strug, like there's so many legends and there's so much history. It's absolutely iconic. Every single sport, John Wooden is just, you have no choice but to be successful when you step foot into this program. And it's in really good hands. And I feel like it's only up from here, especially seeing how these freshmen mm -hmm handle themselves with such poise and grace and just so hardworking. Um, they're gonna be great leaders. I, they're, they lead me, like I, I'm like, put me in the group with the freshmen, I need to step it up. Like, that's how I feel. Um, yeah, they can only go up from here. That's how I feel. It, Selena's not a freshman, but she's <laughs> She'll she's always young be my yet. freshman, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Buki. I don't like that. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so Selena, what what have you taken from these ladies that that sort of you know? Oh my gosh, I've taken so much. I mean, I've watched them on YouTube since I was like eleven. So, like being able to be in the gym and train with them, like it's just like watching Simone Biles in front of you every single day. Like it feels like that. Like you can see their work ethic. You can see how hard they push themselves inside, outside of the gym. Like it just it can't do anything but rub off onto you and the rest of our team. And like, they're just so strong willed women, like they are going to get the job done. And I, I take that in every single day. Yeah. You're making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I've already so cried like five you. times. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, Selena, earlier this season, when you had a really great floor routine, I think you told us that you had like a Reese's cup before you went out and did it. So was there anything today that you did that gave you a little bit of extra like oomph for your perfect routines? Yeah, I had like three cuties and like, I ran to the bathroom really quick after warm up, and like, I just had like my own time in the locker room. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I need those like two minutes, but yeah, I was just, I had a cutie. I think I wrote something cute on the whiteboard and then I ran out really quick, so. Yeah. So when you have that alone time in the locker room, is it to like center yourself or like what are those moments kind yeah, of like? I think coming to college, I had a really hard time adjusting to like the sound of everything while I do my gymnastics. So I think that little like second of like quiet really helps put me back into the zone, especially after the three events. So. Um, what would it take for you to be satisfied this season or are you satisfied already? I'm guessing not, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does that go the same for everybody up there, I'm assuming? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, and then last one for me, you guys did eight floor routines today as a team. So what does it mean to just, you know, close out the last home meet with like a huge floor party? And what did you kind of show people what you guys can do on floor? That we're the best floor squad in the nation and we always have been and we always will be. <laughs> Thanks, BJ. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Yep. yep. Janelle, you missed everything. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, Selena, you were talking about kind of your going into the meet, your mindset of wanting to stay present. How did you kind of stay present through your, you got two tens at the beginning of the meet. How did you kind of keep yourself from focusing too much on being perfect for your last routines? Um, our goal was, like I said earlier, was to stay connected as a team and like ask everybody what they need, if they're okay. So 
I think the best way like I could calm down my adrenaline was to talk to my bar squad and like just remind them of what our goals and what we were here to do and also to throw out we're gonna get boba later yeah. <laughs> but yeah like I think just talking to my teammates and like like not staying on that tent and moving on to like the bigger goal the bigger picture that we had for the meet so yeah. and then for all of you pack 12s is next week um what are you kind of looking forward to that and how are you going to move from this meet into the next meet especially i think finals week is this week kind of what is your like preparation going to be for that last pack 12 thanks tournament? for reminding me <laughs> <laughs> um being organized is like the biggest thing um yeah. for the people who have done this before we know how it goes so just yeah. being as helpful as we can to the freshmen who maybe are not used to that um but also i think that we are very great competitors so i'm not too worried about it but i'm really excited for next week after this week yeah oh uh hi guys hi selena i have a quick question for you um um so today was i think your first time on bars right mm -hmm. the first time on bars so yeah. leading up to this season we've been seeing you get 995 over and over 9975 over and over and over again mm -hmm. so how did it feel today to finally get like that 10. It felt good because it showed everyone that I'm not just a vaulter. So I'm very proud of that. And I don't know, I'm just hype. I really want one on beam now and floor and <laughs> <laughs> just everywhere. But, yeah. And then, um, Mark, I have a question for you now. Um, so going from um, one of the top elites in the United States or to being um, here, as you say, gymnast, um, what, like looking holistically at your career in gymnastics, what do you think is the biggest impact that you've left? Here in the United States? The biggest impact I've left, I feel like, is um, probably the way I treated people. I think so. I feel like um, I was never the best. I never thought I was. I was always just happy to be here. I feel like I took a path that was pretty unique and I started my elite journey pretty late. So I was just happy to be in the same room with people who have been doing it. And um, I've always felt very blessed and very lucky. And I feel like um, because I had such a unique approach, I never took my gymnastics too seriously. I've always just been a, goof, a goofball and uh, stylish in my own way and just wanted to have fun and spread joy and just make gymnastics a a more fun place, especially elite gymnastics. And I feel like um, even so World Cup 2018, I believe I did my fist pump and I stuck it in Birmingham on floor. And I feel like that was the beginning of my collegiate career when I realized that you can really you can celebrate your gymnastics and um, it really doesn't have to be so uptight. And then coming into UCLA, you know, I was given my scholarship because I sang in Ms. Fowles' office. She wasn't just, she wasn't giving me a scholarship because of the gymnast I was. She gave me a scholarship because of the person I was. And I feel like that's something that I felt like has been very important to me throughout my whole life, that I should be multifaceted, that I should um, carry myself as more than just the athlete, just being a really legit and genuine human being. And um, I feel like I've been pretty consistent with that throughout my entire career. And then Shay, um, looking more, looking holistically, not just as a student athlete here at UCLA, but like just like everything that you've experienced um, at your time, um, what do you think is the biggest thing that you've learned? I think the biggest lesson that I've learned over these past four years is um, just how adaptable I am. And I think that there, each year has had its own challenges in its own way. And I feel like I, when times I didn't think I was gonna get through it, I did. And I think that that's a very valuable lesson and something that I didn't know I had within myself that I was really pleased to have discovered. And again, like I wouldn't be able to do it without the community around me and teammates, family, friends, like it's, it truly, it, it truly does take a village to get through the student athlete life. Um, but it's also just such a blessing to be able to call myself a student athlete and get to experience it. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.